Hey everyone, welcome to the last lesson in this quick start course for On One Photo Raw 2022. In this lesson, we're discussing how to resize, how to export, and how to print our images using Photo Raw. Inside of Photo Raw, you can access your resizing, printing, and export directly from the Browse module and from inside of Edit. So I'm inside of Edit here. Let's just export this photo that we created of this hummingbird. To export an image, we can head down here to this export option there. Inside of this all new export dialog, we have a few different areas to pay attention to. This left side are all of the different presets that you can use to quickly populate these export options to the right. For example, if you want to export a JPEG into a subfolder, you can select this option And you can see that it's populated this area with the modifiers to the right. The great thing about these presets is you can run multiple presets at the same time. So if I wanted to create a JPEG to a subfolder, create a DNG to the same folder, and then also copy the original to my desktop, I could select all three of these and it would run them at the same time, creating three different files from these different presets. If you want to modify and create your own preset, you can deselect these options. You can head over here to the export options on the right, and you can populate it with your own custom settings. Just select Save Preset after you've modified the settings, and you can create your own custom export preset. One thing that I would recommend selecting is this background export. Just make sure that you export the image in the background and you can still modify any of the settings in Photo Raw and browse around for different images. So for this image, let's just deselect this preset we created and let's just make our own custom settings over here so that we can go over these different panes. So inside of this first pane here, we have our naming and it's very similar to the naming structure inside of the import from device dialog. We have the presets that we can use, we have our modifiers, we can add tokens. And then below that, we have our destination, again, very similar to the import from device dialog. We can choose where we want to export those images to. I'm just going to choose my downloads folder. And then I can head down here to after export. I typically choose show in finder so that it opens up in my computer's finder or navigator so that I can see that it's exported, but you can use these other options as well. We then have file type, so we can modify the file type. And new inside of Photo Raw 2022, we can actually create a DNJ to maintain the original raw data of that file. One thing we can also use is the quality here. <clears throat> In file type, we can modify the file type for that export. We can modify the quality, profile, and then we have resize which we can use to resize our image to any size while maintaining the same original textures and detail. We have sharpening. If we need to add any sharpening for printing, we can use this manual option to adjust that manually. We have metadata here. So if we need to apply any export metadata, we can do that here. We also have watermark. So if we need to apply a custom watermark to our image, so if we need to apply a custom watermark to our image, we can do that in this area. All we have to do is choose add watermark and we can use a text watermark or a logo watermark. And we can modify that in this area down there. Once you have the settings applied the way you want them, you can head down to export. 
Just like with export or resize, you can access the printing module from browse or edit. Let's do it from browse this time with a group of images. Inside of the browse module, I'm inside of my grid view here and I've just applied a quick instant film preset to these photos. So I'm just going to select all of these images here and I'm going to pull up my printing module by selecting this print icon over to the right. Now inside of my printing module here, I can view and preview the print down here right there. And I can also see all of the images that are in the printing job right here at the bottom. If I need to remove any of these prints from the job, I can do that just by selecting them. When it comes to viewing the prints, I can view them on a single sheet, I can view them side by side, or I can view them as a grid. Over here in the printer options, we can modify our mode, whether we want to actually print the file or create a PDF of that file. Below that, we have our printer. We can choose our printer here. We can modify the page size here, the orientation. We can create multiple copies. We can modify the resolution. And in the setup option, we can select the different printers that we're using, and we can also modify the presets to add in new ones or modify the existing ones. Below that, we have our color. So if we need to modify the color profile, we can do that in here. And below that, we have our print area, which we can use to modify the area in which these images are printed. So if we want to switch up the print area to a four by five, let's say, we can use this area to do that. We can also customize the print area down here. Below that we have our watermark section. So if we want to create a watermark for these images, we can do that here. And we can also add in any sharpening we need to if we want to apply some preprint sharpening. Once we have all of these settings modified the way we want them, we can choose to print one of the images or we can choose to print them all. To use the resize module, just make sure you have a photo inside of the edit module or a photo selected inside of browse and then you can head over here to resize. Inside of resize here, we have our preview of our image. To the left, we have our tool well, we have our crop and our zoom slash view tool. And then we have our presets here that we can use to quickly apply resizing presets to this image. So if we want to apply a preset, we can go in here, let's select photo lab. And we have all of these different presets we can use. Let's say we want a nice 40 by 50. I'll select 40 by 50. It will pull up the crop tool because the ratio that I'm using on my image is too big for this preset. So I'll have to modify the crop a bit. That looks good just like that. I'll hit enter. And now over here on the right side of resize, I can see in my pixel dimensions and my document size that I have a width of 50 inches and a height of 40 and my, re my resolution is at 300. So it's resized this image a ton up to 50 by 40. And if I zoom in here, I'm viewing this image as if I'm looking through a microscope or something because it's so large compared to what it was, but it's still maintaining all of the original textures and details in that photograph. Below our document size and our pixel dimensions, we have our settings menu here. This menu is used to modify the type of resizing. 
Below that we have our sharpening, which we can use to apply some pre-print sharpening if we need to. We then have our film grain, if we need to apply a bit of graininess to the photograph. We have tiling, so if we'd like to create some sort of tiling with the image, we can do that in here. We also have gallery wrap. So if we need to create a gallery wrap, if we're printing on a canvas or something like that, we can modify those settings in this area. Once you're done with the resizing, save your image by selecting Done or heading back into Browse.